the art of interception, where we say what needs to be said. Boy, if y'all been living under a tree or a rock and y'all don't know what's been going on yesterday on Twitter in the Twitter universe, the firecrackers is exploding. They are lit. The fire is in the air. All the smoke. Dal Revis, Sauce Gardner, Sante Samuel, and the New York media. I mean, it's going crazy. All this started because I accused the New York media of, you know, having they, they players back, of, of, which they should, but hyping them to another level where it's taking the credit away from the people that really deserve the, the, the credit. You know what I mean? So that's where I'm really coming from. You know what I mean? So that's where we at, man. So I'm, I'm going to show you these uh, little Twitter posts and these Twitter rants and going back and forth. And can you believe this led to a challenge of a boxing match? Dow Revis want to put on the, on the gloves because I'm just trying to make a point, and I'm sorry his name is in the middle of it. I'm just trying to create some standards so people can know what it takes to make it to the Hall of Fame. They already said, Belichick said, there's it's no credentials to go into the Hall of Fame. There's no criteria. No criteria. So, criteria. So, we want to know. We want to figure it out. Hey, but challenge is accepted. You know, where, when, and how we going to get it in? Let's get it in. Because that's what I love to do. Everybody know. Something take like the box, baby. But let's stay focused. We're going to stay focused. Now, I call out the New York media. And like I said, it might be a little bit of hating, but I'm sorry somebody's name is just in the middle. I'm just talking about the media and the way the business works. Because if you give somebody credit and somebody that doesn't, I mean, and somebody does deserve the credit and don't get it, that don't sit well with myself. So I'm always going to chime in a little bit. You know, uh, Sauce Gardner, you run, you won defensive rookie of the year. And you had a crazy season. You did your thing for a rookie. You definitely did your thing. But I was just trying to say that Tyreek Woolen had a better yeah, it's no shots at nobody. It was just me giving my opinion. I'm a critic. I'm just, I'm just being a critic. And the young man ain't getting his credit he deserved. You know what I mean? That's all that is. It's New York media. What's the problem? Why? Are y'all on me? Y'all got y'all boys back. I like that. But we here. And we going to talk about it because I ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? We going to talk about the Hall of Fame. We're going to get into it. I'm talking about the Hall of Fame since y'all created Revis Island. And we're going to talk about the Hall of Fame, right? First of all, congrats to Daryl Revis in the Hall of Fame. He's a first ballot Hall of Fame. Can't take that away from him. Congrats. You know what I mean? Blah, blah, blah. But I'm still going to be here and I'm always going to be voicing my opinion. That's just what I do. That's just me. If you don't know, I'm in practice mode. Every day I step on the field, I'm going to talk. I'm going to have something to say, and I'm going to say it. That's just the way it is. All right. I'm going to go through a few names. I'm going to go through a few names of cornerbacks currently in the Hall of Fame. And we're going to try to make this make sense because this got to make sense somewhere because we got young boys that want to go to the Hall of Fame. We got Darius Slay. We got Stephon Gilmore. You know what I mean? Sherman, uh, um, uh, Richard Sherman. You know, I, he sound like he'll lock already. You know what I mean? He already done. But some of these young boys still playing. They want to make it to the Hall of Fame. People learning what the Hall of Fame is. I didn't know when I first got in the uh, league. And then I kind of learned. And, you know, social media is out here bring awareness to everything. Now, so let's talk about it. All right. Dow Green, Hall of Famer, 54 interceptions. Dick Knight Train Lane, Hall of Famer, 68 interceptions. Champ Bailey, Hall of Famer, 52 interceptions. Ty Law, 53 interceptions. Aeneas Williams, 55 interceptions. Charles Woodson, 65 interceptions. Rod Woodson, 71 interceptions. Uh, Rondé Barber, 47 interceptions. Emmett Thomas, 58 interceptions. Herb Adderley, 48 interceptions. Willie Brown, RIP Mr. Willie Brown. He had the record for uh, interceptions for touchdowns in the playoffs. So I broke that, man. Salute to Willie Brown, man. You know what I mean? Willie Brown. 54 interceptions. Mel Blunt, 57 interceptions. Jimmy Johnson, 47 interceptions. Lim Barney, 56 interceptions. Mike Haynes, 46 interceptions. Roger 
Wahili, 40 interceptions. Jack Butler, 52 interceptions. And Dick LeBou, 52 interceptions. So it's kind of supposed to be a standard. Or, you know what I mean? Everybody on here, I thought it was 50 interceptions. But I, nobody has less than 40. But Revis is breaking a barrier now. So that only opens up the door for a lot of cornerbacks because a lot of everybody is sticking, you know, let, sorry, let me, let me, let me, let me switch gears, right? Uh, you know, you know, we having little Twitter, Twitter, Twitter rants, you know what I mean? We, we be talking stuff. It's competitive minds. I don't take it personally. You know what I mean? So, you know, we're showing my stats and showing his stats, but every time we, we show my stats and we say, you know, Sante had 51 interceptions, such and such games, 11, you know, what you call it? Uh, 31, uh, you know, the percentage passes thrown at you and all that stuff, right? But then, you know, all they're going to say is Revis didn't get the ball thrown at him. He wasn't able to be productive because he didn't get the ball thrown at him. But then when y'all talk about Dion, y'all say the same thing, but then Dion gets the ball. So you got to stick to an argument. But we're going to cut that out. We ain't finna say cornerbacks not getting thrown, the ball thrown at him. That is just absolutely... Blasphemy. We ain't going there. Y'all ain't doing that. We ain't, we, 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 ain't, we ain't tolerating that. Every cornerback is getting the ball thrown at them. You might not get it thrown as much as somebody else, but you getting the ball thrown at you 60, 70 times, 50, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? Unless you're intercepting the ball every time the ball is coming at you. That's how you are feared corner. Can't nobody fear you because you breaking up the ball? What the hell? I'm just a quarterback. Just go out there and throw it up again. If you're just going to break it up, what the hell to be scared about that? That's a, a damn lie. And now you put up this tweet. Revis, look me in my eye, boy, because I know you watching. You put up this tweet, said Rex Ryan. Showed him a bunch of tape of double moves and whatever the year was when y'all played the Falcons. Did you say you was playing the Falcons? I don't know if you got your mix, the dates mixed up and... Whatever, what have you. But, man, you kind of seeming like you, you, they say you're from West uh, PA. You, you really don't know how to talk shit. So, man, you know, Ocho, help him out a little bit, man. You know what I mean? You can't be putting out these little false lies. You know what I mean? Man, cameraman, fuck my groove up. But I'm back, man. You know, whatever's that? Chad, Ocho. Ocho, help the man out, man. He need a little bit of shit talking skills. You know what I mean? If I would say it right, trash talking. If y'all don't, you know, if you don't want to hear absurd language but shit talking he need to learn how to talk a little shit they say he from uh, you know west west pa but you know what i mean but yeah man the young men out here want to know what it take you know we got who are, you know i name a uh, stefan gilmo you know what i mean i got a uh, you know uh trayvon Diz. you got darius big play slay you know everybody's aspiring to make it to the top so I'll stop with this hiding pro football and new york media because y'all probably control this Probably got the most control over this pro football Hall of Fame stuff. Let the young men know what it takes to make it to the Hall of Fame. Because when you do let them know, and I know it's going to be a problem to everybody, because I fit in every category. It don't matter what category that you try to do. You can shy away from me. Whatever team I played for, whatever stat you want to put up, I'm going to show up and show out. That's what real ballers do. It don't matter what team. And, you know, let me address something else, because I'm a, um, you know, f for the cornerbacks. Y'all like to say man to man, man to man. When somebody could play man to man to man to man to man, they supposed to be this and that and that wrong. Only thing y'all saying when he's a man to man corner, he can't do nothing else. So if that's all you could do is play man to man, that's what y'all want. Somebody that could just press. What about when the coach want to call another type of defense? You got to move him out. I want a corner that can do it all. He could play any coverage in any time, in any position for any team. That's a complete corner. And you don't make excuses for complete corners. You, you won't. You don't have to. But when you want to force something like the New York media, you're going to come up with excuses because the stats not going to show what everybody is saying. And the numbers lie. Men lie. Women lie. But numbers don't. That's some real shit. That's what everybody has to refer to. When everybody looks and sees who's great and what they have done, you go to stats, Michael Jordan, the Kobe Bryant's, the Shaquille O'Neal's, the, the, the Floyd Mayweather's. You go to stats. That's the only way. What else did you do? Y'all want to compare coverage to production. 
coverage, yes, is a part of playing cornerback. If you have good coverage, that makes you a good cornerback. But when you can intercept the ball after playing great, good coverage, what the hell you call that? A cover corner just, just covers the guy, huh? We want the ball. I grew up on a production chart. It, a lot of corners probably things just given to you. We had a sheet, box, your name, your production for the day. This is how you win your starting job. You don't come in as no five-star, six-star, four-star and get your job. Uh-uh. Every man for himself. That's the mentality I got. That's the mentality I'm going to die with. Ain't nothing going to be given. You got to go earn it and show it and prove it. We ain't taking nothing away from people. Man, Tariq, Woolen, man, you did your thing. Not only the interceptions, man, you had fumble recoveries, you had touchdowns, you blocked kicks, you did your thing, but that's in the past. So you know the next year you got to do your thing. But you ain't getting the credit you deserve. That was just something I wanted to say and put out there. That's the truth. Man, that's all the exception, man. I'm checking out, man. Stay tuned. I'm coming with more fire and more fire and more fire. New York media, hey, I'm going to take it personal, man. Say what need to be said. I'm out.